Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Diversity of Plant Zone. In this channel, you can easily get the information related to plants and their diversity throughout the world. Today's topic of my video is about introduction and classification system of Oswald Tipu. So let's start the video. First of all, I will discuss about introduction. Oswald Tipu, he was born on November 27 in 1911 and died on the June 10, 1999. He was an American botanist and educator. Tipu became the first chancellor of the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, in 1970. Oswald Tipu, first chancellor of the University of Massachusetts, Amherst, in office 1970 to 1971, preceded by office established, succeeded by Randolph Bromery. Next, I'm going to discuss about his personal details. So, he was born on November 27. In 1911, in Milo, Maine, United States, and died on the June 10, 1999, at the age of 87, in Santa Barbara, California, United States, nationality American, residence Amherst, Massachusetts, United States, alma mater. University of Massachusetts Amherst, Harvard University, profession, botanist and educator. Oswald Tipu as shown in the figure. Next I am going to discuss about his career. So he was born in Milo. Tipu moved to Boston a year later and graduated from the Jamaica Plain High School in 1928. He received his Bachelor of Science in Botany from the University of Massachusetts Amherst in 1932 and his Master of Science in 1933 and Doctor of Philosophy from the Harvard University 1937. He was also awarded an honorary doctor of science from the University of Massachusetts Amherst in 1954. Tipu was a member of the Phi Beta Kappa and Sigma Xi honor societies. Upon graduating from Harvard, Tipu joined the faculty at the University of Illinois. From 1943 to 1945, he worked as a biologist at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard. In 1949, Tipu published the widely used textbook, which is also called College Botany, with Harry J. Fuller. From 1951 to 1953, he served as editor of the American Journal of Botany. In 1955, he moved to Yale University as Eton, Professor of Botany, Director of Marsh Botanical Garden and Fellow of the Berkeley College. Five years later, he was named Provost of the University of Colorado and in 1963 was named Executive Dean of Arts and Sciences at New York University. From 1964 to 1970, Tipu served as Provost of the University of Massachusetts Amherst 
and then became the institution's first chancellor until 1971. He is credited with the initiating the construction of their W.E.B. Du Bois Library and the library's courtyard was named in his honor on October 8, 1999. Tepu was named Commonwealth Professor of Botany from 1971 until his retirement in 1982. From 1980 to 1985, he served as editor of the journal Economic Botany. Tipper was president of the Botanical Society of America in 1955, fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, member of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and member of the American Institute of, Botan of Biological Science. Awards 1980 Botanical Society of America Merit Award 1999 Siegfried Fellow Award for Outstanding Volunteer Service Publications include Humanistic Botany Hardcover January 1, 1977, as shown in the figure. Next publication is the Oswald Tipu and the Early Promise of the University of Massachusetts. A profile in his own words, paperback January 1, 2002, as shown in the figure. Next publication is the College Botany. Hardcover January 1, 1949 by the Hari Fuller, James Fuller, author. This is the college party by the Fuller, Hari James, as shown in the figure. As for Tipu, Tipu was provost from 1964 until he was appointed chancellor in 1970 serving the university during a period of enormous growth and expansion of the campus. He is largely credited with establishing the university as a major national research institution by recruiting and hiring top-ranked faculty and pressing for the construction of the W.E.B. Du Bois Library and substantially adding to his its holdings. Tipu's appointment as Chancellor followed a reorganization of the university by the Board of Trustees, which called for the Amherst, Boston, and Worcester campuses to be headed by the Chancellors with the university's president continuing to direct overall policy and operation of the then three campus UMass system. University President William M. Bulger said Tipu loved the university and recognized it for its greatness. He demanded high quality performance from the university because he knew that splendid potential of its faculty and students. Belgium had maintained a personal relationship with Tipu for several years and said, Tipu gave me sound advice based on his experience. Chancellor David K. Scott described Tipu as a person of principle an extraordinary vision. He said, Tipu led the Amherst campus during an important time of transition and played a significant role in building the world-class university that we have today. 
The entire campus community extends their sympathy to the Tipu family. He will be missed, but his presence will be felt for years to come. John Lederly, President of the University during Tipu's tenure as provost, said Tipu was indispensable in helping to establish the quality and the national reputation of the campus. More than once I said I had the best provost in America, Lederly said. Tipu served as Chancellor until 1971 when he was named Commonwealth Professor of Botany. He continued teaching until his retirement in 1982. Edward Davis Retired botany professor and longtime chairman of that department said as that as a teacher Tipu had high standards but he was very much appreciated by his students. Above all, said Davis, Tipu was devoted to the university and loyal to its people. A resident of Amherst, Tipu remained a familiar figure on campus who could frequently be spotted holding court at his regular table at the faculty club. Just last month, the Friends of the Library presented Tipu with the, with the Siegfried Feller Award for Outstanding Volunteer Service. During the award ceremony, the Oswald Tipu Library Courtyard and Sculpture Garden was officially dedicated. Tipu was born on November 27 in 1911. In Milo, Maine. In 1922, his family moved to Boston. Following his graduation from the Jamaica Plain High School in 1928, Tipu received a bachelor's degree in botany in 1932 from the University of Massachusetts, then known as Massachusetts State College. He later received a master's degree in 1933 and a PhD in 1937 from the Harvard University. In 1954, UMass awarded Tipu an honorary Doctor of Science degree. Tipu joined the botany faculty of the University of Illinois. In 1937, where he later served as chairman of the department, chairman of the division of biological sciences, and dean of the graduate school. In 1955, he was appointed Eton, professor of botany at the Yale University, where he also was chairman of that department, director of the botanical laboratories director of the Marsh Botanical Garden and fellow of the Berkeley College. In 1960, Tipu became provost at the University of Colorado and three years later he was named Executive Dean of Art and Sciences at New York University. He was a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, a member of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the Botanical Society of America, serving as its president in 1955, the American Institute of Biological Sciences, Sigma Xi, Phi Beta Kappa, and several other scientific and professional societies. From 1943 to 45, he worked as a biologist in the wood test lab at the U.S. Navy Yard in Philadelphia. Tipu was the author with the H.J. Fuller of the widely used text College Botany. 
He also published numerous papers on plant anatomy, wood decay and preservation, plant texture and evolution, and plant classification and phylogeny, plus general papers on biological education. He contributed the section on the classification of plants to the Encyclopedia Britannica and wrote the sections on wood anatomy and steelies in the McGraw Hill Encyclopedia of the Science and Technology. Tipu is survived by his wife of 64 years, the former Ami Farnas, a son, Danis R. Tipu of Avon Khan, three granddaughters and a grandson and four step grandchildren. A second son, Ray Ethan Tipu, dead in 1998. The funeral in Amherst will be private. A memorial service is planned for a later date. Contributions may be made in Tipu's name to the Friends of the W.E.B. Du Bois Library, University of Massachusetts Amherst, Mess, 01003. Next, I am going to discuss about the Oswald Tipu classification system. So, he proposed the biggest phylogenetic classification of plant kingdom. This classification is the complete classification of plant kingdom. So this is the most acceptable classification for books and study. This is the plant kingdom which is divided into sub kingdom. Sub kingdom 1 is Thallophyta which includes about 10 divisions and the next is the Embryophyta. Oswald Tipu classification system includes Cyanophyta, which is also called blue-green algae, Euglenophyta, which is in which includes Euglenoids, Chlorophyta, green algae, Carisophyta, yellow-green algae, Perophyta, which includes and which is also called, which also includes dinoflagellates and diatoms, pheophyta, brown algae, rhodophyta, red algae, cicyxomycophyta, bacteria, myxomycophyta, slime moles, false fungi. Eumycophyta, true fungi. These 10 deviants include 3 types of organisms algae, which includes 7 deviants, bacteria, which include 1 deviant, and fungi, which includes 2 deviants. So, this is Ambrophyta, which is divided on the basis of vascular tissue into deviants. The deviant first is called Atracheata. Bryophyta, non vascular plants, and the next is the tracheophyta, which, is, which includes vascular plants. So, the A tracheata, non vascular plants, bryophyta is further divided into three classes, and the first class is called Hepaticopsida, second is called Anthocerotopsida, third is Bryopsida. Hepaticopsida is also called liverworts and it includes liverworts. Anthocerotopsida includes hornworts. Bryopsida include moss, true. On the other hand, tracheophyta vascular plants is divided into four classes and first class is called Psylopsida which includes Psylotum. Next is the Lycopsida which include club moss or false moss. Next is the Siphinopsida, which includes horse tails, Tropsida, which includes ferns and gymnosperms, 
Oswald Tipu classification system. The system of classification outlined above is basically artificial and natural only in part. Most psychologists believe that subdivision algae is an artificial group made of a number of groups which are not closely related. They are of the opinion that the term algae refers to a level of development or to a mode of life rather than to natural group. Similarly, mycologists believe that subdivision fungi is actually made of at least three unrelated groups, the bacteria, the slime molds, and the higher or true fungi. Therefore, the division Thalophyta is now regarded as a highly unnatural assemblage of unrelated forms. According to H. Fuller and Oswald Tipu, particularly comparative morphological paleobotanical investigations have tended to break down the distinction between the triodophyta and spermatophyta. The discovery of the fossils of seed ferns, which are also called as the Cycadophila calis has suggested that the ferns are more nearly allied to the gymnosperms and angiosperms than they are to so called fern alis. The horsetails and club mosses, based on above findings, Fuller and Tipu proposed a natural system of classification. They divided plant kingdom into two sub-kingdoms. First is Thalophyta and the next is Amphiphyta. Subdivision Thalophyta include algae and fungi of the older systems. And in the sub-kingdom Amphiphyta, bryophytes, tridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms were included. Next, I am going to discuss about the classification system of Oswald Tipu. Oswald Tipu published Outline of Classification of Plants in 1942. This classification was derived from classification of Gilbert Smith. This system is popularly used by American writers. The scheme of classification of Tipu is Number 1. Subkingdom Thalophyta. So, these plants do not form embryo. It is further divided into following phylums. First is Cyanophyta or Cyanophyta, blue green algae. Second is Euglenophyta, includes flagellates like Euglena. Third is Chlorophyta, which includes green algae. Next is Carisophyta, diatoms. Next is Pheophyta, brown algae. Next is Rhodophyta, red algae. Next is Pyrophyta, dinoflagellates. Next is Sikigzomycophyta. Next is Mixomycophyta. Next is Eumycophyta. So the next sub-kingdom is Embryophyta. These are embryo-forming plants and they are further divided into following phylums. First is Bryophyta. These are non-vascular plants. Example are mosses, liverworts and hornworts. Second is Tracheophyta or Tracheophyta. They are vascular plants. They are further divided into following subphylum. So the first subphylum is Psilopsida. These are leafless and rootless plants. Example is Psilotum. Next is subphylum Lycopsida. These are commonly called club mosses and they have simple vascular tissue. Their leaves are small. Example is Selaginella. So the third subphylum is Sphenopsida. They are commonly called horsetail. 
they have jointed stem and reduced scale like leaves an example is aquisetum next subphylum is thriopsida they have complex conducting tissues they have large leaves they have all other advanced characteristics this subphylum is further subdivided into three classes and these classes are so the first class is Feliciniae which includes ferns next is Gymnospermae which includes conifers third is Angiospermae which includes flowering plants this is the plant kingdom which is divided into two sub kingdoms first sub kingdom is Thallophyta neck and the second is Embryophyta Embryophyta is divided into the Bryophyta and Tracheophyta Tracheophyta further divided into the Tridophyta or Spermatophyta so Spermatophyta is further divided into Gymnosperms and Angiosperms on the other hand Angiosperms are further divided into Dicotyledons and Monocotyledons This is the plant kingdom. Plant kingdom is divided into two sub kingdoms. First sub kingdom is Thallophyta and the second is Embryophyta. Thallophyta include 10 divisions. So the divisions are divided into 7 divisions of algae, 2 divisions of fungi, and 1 division of bacteria. The 7 divisions of algae are Ciano, blue green algae, Euglenophyta, Euglenoids, Chlorophyta, green algae, Carisophyta, yellow green algae, Pheophyta, brown algae, Rhodophyta, red algae, Pyro Perophyta, dinoflagellates, and diatoms. On the other hand, the two deviants of fungi include Myxomycophyta, which includes lime molds, false fungi, and Eumycophyta, true fungi. On the other hand, the one deviant of bacteria include Schizomycophyta, which includes bacteria. Next, Embryophyta. On the basis of vascular tissue, it is divided into two divisions. The first division is Atracheata or Bryophyta, which are non-vascular plants, divided into three classes. First class is Hepaticopsida, liverworts. Second is Anthocyropsida, hornworts. And third is Bryopsida, moss. On the other hand, the second division is Tracheophyta, which includes Tridophyta, vascular plants, divided into four classes. And the first class is Silopsida, which includes Silotum, Lycopsida, which includes Club Moss or False Moss. Phenopsida, which includes horse tails, and the next is the Triopsida, which includes gymnosperms and angiosperms. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well for further notifications. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time and appreciation.